a cylindrical layer of dielectric with dielectric constant k is inserted into a cylindrical capacitor to fill up all the space between the electrodes the mean radius of the electrodes equals r the gap between them is equal to d with d is very very less than r the constant voltage v is applied across the electrodes of the capacitor find the magnitude of the electric force pulling the dielectric into the capacitor suppose at any instant x length of the capacitor is filled with dielectric medium so the whole system can be considered as a parallel combination of two cylindrical capacitors one capacitor is c air and other is c dielectric this portion is c dielectric and this portion of capacitor is c air therefore the net capacitance is c is equal to c dielectric plus c air now it is given that d is very very less than r therefore the capacitance can be calculated by formula of parallel plate capacitor so we can write c is equal to epsilon not k a of dielectric portion upon d plus epsilon not a of air portion upon d now a dielectric is equal to 2 pi r into x r is the average radius of electrodes and a air is equal to 2 pi r into length of cylindrical part it is l minus x here length of cylindrical part is x now substituting these values in this equation 1 we get c is equal to epsilon not k 2 pi r x upon d plus epsilon not 2 pi r l minus x upon d now the energy of potential electrical potential energy of the system will be u is equal to half cv square therefore force f is equal to du upon dx as capacitor is connected with uh, voltage source so v is constant therefore the differentiation du upon dx will be 1 upon 2 v square as v is constant into dc upon dx because u is half cv square so du upon dx will be equal to d upon dx half cv square as v is constant 1 upon 2 is constant and c is variable dc upon dx so f will be equal to half v square into d upon dx of c the value of c is this value is equal to this taking 2 pi epsilon not r upon d common from both steps we get this step now differentiating this step with respect to x we get pi epsilon not r v square cancel this two with this two so we get pi epsilon not r into v square upon d differentiation of l is 0 and differentiation of x with respect to x is 1 so here is k minus 1 this is the required force on dielectric medium